New York City's street art goes way beyond traditional graffiti. These uncommercial forms of expression that pop up on buildings, sidewalks, and street signs can be found all over the city. Traffic congestion at lights will soon lighten up. Starting today, vehicles that block the box may soon be hit with a $115 fine. Starting with the October issue, Rolling Stone has reduced the size of its magazine to cut costs. The new version will now be the same size as most other magazines. The parent company for KFC, Pizza Hut, and Taco Bell will soon begin posting calorie content for their menu items. The decision comes as more states are requiring restaurants to show the nutritional information for their food. New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg announced Thursday that he will seek a third term. Bloomberg's second term ends in 2009, and current legislation bars him from running for re-election. The Intrepid is back at Pier 86 in New York City to resume its role as a floating museum. The ship underwent two years of repairs and improvements. Between the aircraft on the flight deck and the brand new exhibit on the, on the hangar deck, we redid everything. Now you can sort of see from end to end, and uh, it's a 21st century experience, a lot of interactive exhibits. Veterans who called the ship home decades ago were able to relive history as they helped bring the ship back to its pier. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to actually ride the ship again. The restoration cost $115 million and when the museum reopens, visitors will have access to crew quarters and other spaces that were previously off limits. The Intrepid fought in six major conflicts since 1943 and lost 270 crew members, many of them in Japanese kamikaze attacks. The ship also fought in the Korean and Vietnam Wars, which makes the ship's return an emotional experience for many veterans. Yeah, I spent two years of my life on this thing. so. I'm glad they did that. The Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum will reopen to the public on November 8th, and a large celebration is planned for Veterans Day, with over 5,000 veterans expected to attend. Jamie Russo, News 13. The $700 billion government bailout is now approved, but it's not bringing quick changes to the lives of Americans like small business owner Vincent Williams. They haven't revoked the line of credit. They just have so severely restricted it that is basically non-existent. Adding to the credit crunch, companies are slashing jobs at the fastest rate in five years. Another reminder that the government's actions don't seem to be helping. This may signal the shift from what has been a mild recession this year uh, to a more sh severe recession. People from all industries, not just those who work on Wall Street, are suddenly unemployed. Even Main Street businesses are enacting hiring freezes. Drew Langenberg has a master's degree, but has been looking for work for three months. I put in applications and I don't get anything back. Some financial experts question if the Federal Reserve will be able to address all the problems stemming from the ongoing credit crisis, along with a crumbling job market, slowdowns in consumer spending and business investments could cause further problems. The economy is still weak. For people to think this is a light switch that we're going to turn on now that the bailout's been set, that things will be rosy, totally a misconception. One thing the Federal Reserve and financial experts agree on is the need for patience. Jamie Russo, News 13.